Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is Make It Monday, and I have been struggling with trying to figure out what I wanted to make. <laughs> I have no clue. But I found these envelopes when I was cleaning up a little portion of my desk this morning, and it looks like I folded them to do something with them, so now I'm wondering what. But I measured them, and I don't know where my ruler is now. Hold on. I left my ruler on my other desk. Um, if they're folded, now these are like those inner office, I think, envelopes. I'm not sure what they're called. I received some of them in Happy Mail, I think. It's six inches by almost nine. So that is the size of a journal. But I have actually made a journal just using one of these before. And I thought, mm, I don't want to do that again. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use both of them and make a W fold journal. Not going to be a C fold, not going to be a tri fold, not going to be a flippy floppy, whatever. <laughs> We've done those. This is going to be a W fold. And a W is going to be for my last name. So it's actually going to be like that, a W fold. So we'll see how this turns out. Now, I've never done one like this before. Don't even know how it's going to work. But I do think that we can put it together and it'll hold three different signatures. And what I'm going to use to put in this is not just digitals. I'm going to use a lot of just junk mail and things that I find around here laying around on my desk. Just all kinds of things. All different shapes and sizes, that kind of thing. So it's going to be more like a junk journal, maybe, but it's, I hope it's going to be pretty. Now, I have folded both of them like this. You can see they have it has the little sticky there. Folded this one like this, and I think I folded them pretty close to straight, hopefully. How are you guys today, and what are you doing? We are getting prepared for bad weather. We're supposed to have bad weather tomorrow, as usual, this time of year. Going to start off April with a bang, I guess. Hopefully it won't get too bad. I hope. Hope and pray it doesn't. Because I, I don't mind the rain and a little bit of weather go along with it. But I don't like it when the wind starts blowing and tornadoes come through. And we're right in Tornado Alley. And I don't like that. <laughs> but, you know, we get what we get. As my granddaughter says, you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. <laughs> it doesn't do any good anyway, does it? Now, I think, hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to put them both the same way. I think I'm going to flip flop it. I think I'm going to put this one, this is the back side, and this one with the front side. We'll see what happens. Now, I'm going to leave a little room there. I'm not going to put it right up to the very, very edge. I think I've got a light that's trying to flash on me. That's not good. I'm not going to put it right up to where that factory fold is because I actually want to put a signature right in here. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, that's going to hold. I'm going to use a little Barely Arts on the very edges. I have, this is not barely arts, is it? This is art glitter glue. I am going to put some art glitter glue right at the edges. I had barely arts on my brain because I just got through ordering a big shipment to be delivered. Because we are almost out. You guys have bought a lot of that and we're almost out. So I ordered a ton of it. Should be here by the end of the week, we hope. All right, let's go ahead and fold it that way. Now, I will have the drawing for March for our winner sometime this week. I'm not going to do it today. I'll have to, you know, I have to go through and compile everything and make sure there's no bad comments in there and all that kind of stuff. So, I'll compile it all and then we'll do the drawing sometime by the end of the week. Okay, that is going to be... The consistency of our journal this is going to be a huge journal each i mean really if you look at this this is my normal size of a journal but when you consider we're going to put a signature here a signature here and a signature here so we're going to have three signatures 
and then we're going to have lots of pockets and things now i'm going to leave i think this as a pocket right here i think that'll work good as a pocket um don't know if i'm going to open the end up as a pocket or not but i'm going to leave this one as a pocket as well we'll cover that with some paper leave that as a pocket so i know it'll have at least two pockets in there today what we're going to do is work on the cover now later on in the week we'll work on putting things inside but i think today we're going to work on the cover i got this envelope today in the mail and i loved that big window right there and i'm thinking i want to put this on the front and let that be a pocket and put something in there that looks really really cute to show through so we're going to leave that there so that i can remember to use it now i am going to use the collection from rach and bella the one that i did my collab on this one it's uh what is the name of it country garden maybe i don't know i'll have to look it up i don't think they have it on here it's rach and bella and angela kerr i think put these together i did a video on it just a few days ago but I thought since I had so many papers from them that I would go ahead and start using some of these but like I said this is not going to have just digitals in it I'm going to use scrap paper newspaper I'm going to use whatever I put my hands on who knows what it'll be but I'm going to use one of these for the cover I do believe and I really, really, really like that one right there. Now, I do not mind some of this brown showing around. I don't mind that at all. Because this paper is, I printed it the full size, which is 8.5 by 11. But you can see a little bit of that brown's going to show around. I don't mind that. As a matter of fact, I'd like to tear this and have it a little bit rugged looking i'm not sure i want to use that one let me look and see which one i might want to put on the front i want it to be very colorful very bright oh that just looks so pretty that looks like my my mama that looks like my mama that i hadn't seen in forever because she's gone on to be with the lord oh I might use that one on the front. She's, oh, my mama loved to work in flowers. Oh, I don't know which one now to use on the front. I think I'm going to use her. She just, she just says, use me, use me, girl, use me. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use my little deckle edge ruler here and i'm going to try to trim just a tiny tiny bit just to make it the edge a little bit frayed and it, it it's very hard to do that with one of these rulers because it doesn't want to tear just a tiny bit but we'll see what we can do there we go we got it Now let's see where we need to tear it. I need to remember the name of this. It's something garden. It may be country garden? Summer garden? I don't know. I'll have to let you know later. Okay, we're going to tear it right there. I'll link it below where you can go over and pick it up if you want it. Okay, let's see. I'll try to get this somewhat near straight if I can yeah I like my papers on something like this to be a little bit torn to me they just look better and then I, of course I like to ink them so ink them ink them now, I am going to use Vintage Photo on this. I don't want anything real dark because I want some of my bag to show. But I am going to put just a little layer of Vintage Photo on here just to give it a little bit of that distressed look. 
so it won't look like a brand new bag, which is what this is, a brand new bag. Okay, it looks like I didn't fold that too straight or... Okay, I may have to adjust that in a minute, but we'll do that in a minute. See, I've got one side a little bit longer than the other, and I don't want that, so... But we'll adjust later. This is going to be my front cover. Yes. Now, if this works, we will put this whole journal together. If it doesn't work, then we'll tear everything apart and use it somewhere else. I think it should work, though, without any problems, hopefully. Like I said, I've never done one exactly like this, but it should be okay. Okay, let me do a little bit more up here. That should work right there. Oh yeah. That works. Isn't she a cutie? She's just a cutie. She just reminds me of my mom. Even though my mom had really dark hair, even up until she passed, it, she had some gray, and she was like 85. She had some gray, but her hair, she was... um three-quarter Cherokee Indian, so her hair was very, very dark and thick and coarse. So she had that Indian hair, which was absolutely beautiful. And of course, I didn't get it. I got my dad's hair, which was, he's Irish and German, and I got the curly, blonde Irish part of it. <laughs> or Ger I don't know if that's Irish or German. He said it was Irish. But mine is very fine, very curly, very thin. Didn't get my mom's beautiful hair. Okay, look at that. That's pretty. I love that. And we'll put something else on it probably, but right now I'm just going to go on and cover some more pages. Oh, I kind of like that in there. Okay. And I'm going to tear again, just like we did before. These will be good for tags and journal cards. So we're not wasting anything. Right, we're going to put this down right there. I'm just going to kind of center it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I've said that enough to you guys. Y'all probably know it by now. Nothing has to be perfect. Ooh, that's not going to be big enough. Oops. Well, Edith, what's wrong with you, girl? Can't hold it down. Okay, got that one. So there's the front, and there's that side, and then we need to do this one, this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover the other ones, do my inking and cover those. Then we'll come back and we'll start gathering some paper for our signatures. We have our covers, and I'll call them covers because there's many of them. We have those covered up with some paper. Look at that little doggy. So cute. 
I haven't decided how I want to use this yet, so I just left it as it was. And then I've gone ahead and put paper on all of these. So everything is covered on this. We're basically ready for our signatures. Now before I decorate any more on the covers, I'm going to kind of put my signatures together. I'm going to need three. So I have got six pieces of the paper from that collection. That's all of the design paper that I'm going to use. The rest of it is going to be just pulled from here and there. So I'm going to put some in each stack. This guy may turn out to be so big I can't get anything around it to tie it with. <laughs> All right, there's three signatures. Now let's see. Put that on that one. And doesn't that make you just want to sit down and have a good cold glass of tea. Um, put this one over here. No, that looks a little bit too much like that. That one there and that one there. Now I know you can't see all this. I'll show you the signatures in a minute. I want to put this in one of them. It is one of our bags. This is the medium size that we sell in the store. You could also do this, the W Fold Journal like I'm doing. You can do it with these bags too if you wanted to. This is a piece of paper that I found in my floor. <laughs> yes, I'm pulling them out of my floor. And that's just a bird page. I don't know where this come from. It was in my stash, so it's going in. Another bird page. Let's make sure we don't put the same bird page with the same one. All right, this is one of those doilies that one of you guys sent me. I've only got one out. I can pull some more out, but I don't have any more out right now. Um, it's an Edith Holden page. I need one more, so I need to pull another one out. These are some that I already had folded. And I'm just going to lay them in some different places. This is one of those that we did the other day that uh, we have the different folds and tucks on so we'll use that that's a book page some piano paper i'm just alternating best i can not worrying about it too much i can always change them up when i need to i think um I'm thinking that this was sent to me by one of you guys. Some of this paper. Some of it has writing on it, and I'll probably end up covering that up because it actually came out of someone's date book, I think. So we'll end up covering part of that up. Let's see. Put this one in this way. Okay, I think that's enough of those. This one, hmm, I don't know what it is exactly, but it's a very old page. And I want to put it in there. Okay, these are some smaller ledger pages. And I'm going to just kind of alternate those, and I'm going to fold them like that. So one side will be have a big piece, the other side will have a small, and we can do a tip in or tip out or tip tip whatever you want to call it now these are larger ledger pages and I'm going to fold them in half but we'll probably end up folding the bottom up these came from Gloria it looks like I pulled out way too many yeah don't need those um this is a home budget I love this so we're going to fold that like that. I'm hoping I'm alternating these. I'll know when I start putting them together. If I am or not. Okay. This. I, <laughs> I remember this paper too well. This is what we used to use in our offices. And it's... Um, used to have printers this big. And this is where it rolled on the printer. And it printed all kinds of information on that. 
I printed on these many, many, many times before they actually upgraded to a smaller printer. I used to print checks out on this big old print. I'm just going to tear it because I know it's way too big. Put one in there. I think this might have come from Gloria too. I'm not sure. One of you guys sent it to me. Everything I've got, you guys have sent to me. You know that. I'm going to tear this one too. But you can tell these are old. This, I think, 19... Hmm, I want to say 1980. 90s is when I worked on this but now the company that I worked for was very far behind on having anything upgraded so these are probably even older than that yeah they they were way behind times now this is one of those seating charts that we used the other day I'm going to tear this somewhat in half and use it I may even tear it in, well, maybe half. I was trying to say I might tear it in quarters, but I think half will do it, maybe. I like it because it's got all those numbers right there. And if some of these are too big, I'm not even going to worry about it. We'll worry about it when we get them in the journal. Not to go on the worry. I oh, know you don't want to hear me sing today. Whoops, I sure didn't tear that one straight, did I? Let's try that again. We use that for scraps. Okay, that one goes there. Um, that one goes there. These are some pages that I just had on my desk that were folded up. And then some that were not folded. And we will put those in there. Don't think I'm going to put that one in there. I want this. <laughs> this is from our, our one of our health markets around here. And I just thought, mm, I'll use that bag. Let me see if I've got a few more of these. I'd like to put one in each one. Okay. I think I have. I just have to cut the edges off of this one. Or tear the edges. Oh, come on, Edith. Hold the paper, girl. I just use my scissors. Now, I didn't print on the back side of these, but we'll cover them with some paper. I'll get them in the journal. Another thing I'm not going to worry about is the paper sticking out on the bottom or the top of these. I don't, I don't mind if it does. Not at all. Okay. That one there. That one there. And this one here. Now, let's see. This is probably going to be way too many pages. You know me. I go way above and beyond. Hmm. It looks like it might be. All right, what are we going to start out with? Now, this is just one sheet of Edith Holden paper. So, I think I might fold it like this. Now, her paper cracks pretty, pretty bad. But I will put some washi down through there. Let's see. Let's start out with a digital, maybe. I think I'm going to start with that one. And then we'll put, I'm just going to alternate. Not even going to think about it too hard. It is what it is. I want some music paper. Where's my music paper? I did have music paper in here, didn't I? I thought I did. Well, yeah, there it is. Right there. Music paper, right, that upside down or right side up? Upside down, right side up, I don't know. 
And then we'll put that one in there. Let's put the Edith Hold one in there. And then that one. Now, a lot of mine are turning out to be the same size. And I didn't necessarily want that. So I may end up tearing some of mine down even smaller. I don't know. It's just going to depend on how it all comes together. I don't mind if they're all... Well, I've got some small ones. Now, on your small ones, you need to kind of alternate from top to bottom so that all of them are not in the same spot. Like I put that one at the bottom, I'll put this one at the top. I think mine are big enough that the stitch is going to catch at least two places, but we shall see. Okay, I need a good sturdy one up against that, so we're going to put that there. This is just some of that drawing paper that I use to back my tags with. It's a very good writing paper. Put the birdies in there. And put this green sheet up against the birdies. Yep. And then this vintage book page. Now I'll have to... Come on. I will have to um, put some reinforcements down the middle of that because it's not very sturdy right there where the stitching was. Okay. All right. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big that's a big section already. And I haven't even got the other ones ready. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't mind if they stick out up here and down here. It doesn't bother me. Matter of fact, I'm going to alternate some of them. I don't mind if they stick outside the journal. That doesn't bother me either. Oh, let's see. I want that one there. Nope, that's flowers and flowers. I don't want it there. Nope, flowers and flowers. I guess this will be the number one. That will go there. Oh, this is, is going to be a chunky monkey. All right, let's go ahead and put this one together. I don't know that I'll stitch them today, but I am going to put them together. Fold this little bag up. We'll cover the bag and decorate it up. We'll have all kinds of fun. All right, put a piece of that little writing paper in there, a little first grader. First grade tablet, I think is what they used to call it. I don't know what they, if they call it anything now, they may not even have these anymore. I don't have any kids in school, so I don't know. All right, let's put our little, no, not the bag. Let's put something else there first. Put that there, and then that there, and then we'll put our bag, and I'm going to put it down at the bottom, and then the next piece we'll put up close to the top. So we'll put this bird page in there. Sorry, I was kind of out of frame, wasn't I? I'm trying to stay away from my microphone. Sometimes I hit the microphone in it. Makes a loud noise. Let's see. We'll put a good sturdy page up against that because that's kind of fragile. I do have some braille paper that I want to put in here, but I hadn't, hadn't got it here on my desk right this minute. So I will grab it in a little bit. And I may take some of these out if it looks like it's just going to be too chunky. I may take some of them out, but I want chunky. I want it chunky. I want it to be a chunky monkey. All right, let's see. We don't want, I'll put that there. And we'll put that. I don't necessarily want that in the middle. Let me pull something else out to put in the middle. Um, put my bird page in the middle and put that one here. Okay. There we go. Now, a lot of these, like I said, I, well, most all of this I got from you guys. 
and some of it has just been in my stash for a while some of it is vintage papers that i've got from different places so very few very little bit of um digitals all right i think i'm gonna put that one there that'll be the second signature now i will trim a little bit of that off i don't want it sticking out quite that much so that's the second signature and then we'll do the third one let's see what is facing us on the third one so i'll know got flowers okay it's gonna have to be this one on the front then so let's do that let's put that there since we need a little bit of don't need so much color there to begin with that one there nope let's see so here's my bag we'll put our bag in there put that one in there that book page in there that my music paper that one let's see I'm gonna put this one that's the one that we made the other day stitch it right there um let's see what do we want to put against that maybe that green ledger paper I'll put that invoice then we'll put that and then maybe this one um, I think I'm gonna save the bird to go in the center that and then that okay and I'll trim some of this off too. That's not going to be, that's not going to be kosher. Oh, that is without anything in it other than the signatures. That's without pockets, without tags, without decorating the backs, all of that. But that's going to be nice. I don't care if it gets out this, this huge. I think it'll be good. I love chunky, chunky, chunky. All right, that's going to be my signatures. Now, like I said, I may take a few pieces out, change pieces up. I don't know. It's going to depend on what I find here on my desk. But I know I'm going to trim down a couple of pieces, and we will do that um, tomorrow when we start to put in, or maybe not tomorrow, Wednesday maybe, when we start to put in the signatures. We'll stitch them in. And then we'll get started working on this one. I'm excited too because I absolutely love chunky, just all kinds of stuff in them. Just any kind of thing you got laid on your desk, just grab it and stick it in a journal. I love it. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back hopefully tomorrow. I have a few um, videos that I've got to do for a company that contacted me. Some promotional videos. Hopefully you guys will watch those. I would appreciate it if you would. But um, we will be back with that probably tomorrow. And then Wednesday we'll come back to this and start making some different embellishments and things to go in and maybe embellish the front more put lace and different things on it we will figure it all out then all right guys we'll talk to you later bye bye